Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and hope you guys are having a good day. This is Josh from VHU and we are going to be bringing you a few more Fallout New Vegas weapon mod reviews today. We have three to take a look at today. The first one is one that is new to the game, um, new to the Nexus I should say. And it is the Sega 12 fully automatic shotgun. Um, yes, it is exactly as badass as it looks. Basically what you're going to do once you get to Good Springs, head to Doc Mitchell's house as we usually find ourselves at. Turn to the right, there you'll see the Vigor Matic Tester on the table here, right across the room from it. You'll see the Sega 12. There is one attachment, it is a drum magazine. Um, we will get into details about that once you get outside. Now there are, the gun does use 12 gauge rounds. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the gun. So the gun is requires a 50 gun skill to use. Damage per second 314, 13.8 times 7 because it fires 12 slugs or 12 sh whatever. Um, so this is the gun. Let's get into the light and take a look. You can see the gun is really nice looking. It uh, you know it's not the best looking gun, but it fits well into the style of the game. You can see it's all beat up and scratched, just like the stop sign. Um, so there are seven round magazines. I would recommend as soon as you get the gun mod it and put the drum magazine uh, it doesn't add anything to the performance of the gun but it makes the gun have 20 round magazine so let's uh, let's fire some rounds here let's fire at the stop sign and just see okay so it looks fucking awesome uh, let's test the reload reload is good all right now this tag in real life is fully automatic so let's fully automate this thing 20 round magazines are just ridiculous. Um, fire is really good. You can see it. all the the spray is very close. Um, so everything fires really close together. There's not you know there's not a big spray like there are on some other shotguns. Um, as you can see, I can't really. <laughs> there's nobody for me to really shoot uh, because we have pretty much wiped out this town. But I believe that Easy Pete is still alive. So make sure when you use this gun. Um, you're stocked up on full on 12 gauge rounds, regardless of you know whether you got to get them from, you know, th you know, got to find them, buy them, or whatever, or use the c console commands. Just make sure you have them. And I just blew Easy Pete apart. Let's go inside. Uh, you know what? We'll wait. Okay, um, that'll do it for this gun. We have, hey. Blew you bitches apart. Alright, so we're going to take a look at one more gun here. We'll, we'll just do it all in one shot. Um, since we are going to be back at Doc Mitchell's house. The gun we're going to be taking a look at is the M14. Um, originally I thought this was an assault rifle, but it's more of a carbine. It's more of a just a standard rifle. Um, so you're going to go to Doc Mitchell's house, and this is going to be found on the shitter. So you're going to come to the toilet. Um, there's the M14 scope, synthetic parts. It does use 308 rounds. Um, you can get 48 with it. Um, there you can see that is the gun. 8.5 pounds, worth about $4,500. Let's get our asses outside. Weapons. Uh, M14, so damage per second, 62. Da wait, sorry. You need a gun skill of 75. Damage is 62. Damage per second, 257, um, and it uses 20 round magazines, so we got the gun equipped, so let's whip her out. So this is a gun, again, a very nice looking gun. Um, I'd like to be able to test the accuracy of the scope. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Did that pick it up? That did not register a hit, but I don't think it has anything to do with the gun itself. I think that's more of the... Let's try this. Alright, that worked. Let's step back a little bit. That did not work. But I think it's more of the hit detection and not the gun itself. Like, I think it's more of the range. Um, so let's, uh, let's open up and see how fast... Let's just click and hold. Okay, so it is not automatic at all. Um, so let's click as fast as we can here. So it fires pretty quick. Um, as long as you got a fast finger, you're going to be okay. Uh, reload speed is pretty good. Let's um, add some mods here. Let's add the scope. 
so this would make it more into a sniper rifle as you can see I still haven't figured out how to um, zoom in further when aiming down the sights which I really need to just figure it out because it's not that big a deal um, so let's see if there's a way we can test the accuracy of the scope okay so that worked you can see sparks I'm going to go ahead and call it accurate um, because it seems pretty good. Uh, we have one more mod for this gun. It is the synthetic parts. You can see the gun is pretty solid looking. Um, is that my arm? That is my arm. Okay, so the gun is relatively solid looking. Um, fits in pretty well with the environment. It's not great. Uh, but in terms of quality, it is a nice quality. There are some uh, synthetic parts upgrade. Let's see, increase this weapon condition. And there it is. So now the gun looks a lot better, more of like a brushed steel look. Um, it doesn't affect the performance of the gun, I don't believe. No. So it doesn't affect the performance, it's more of cosmetic if you like the old fashioned wood looking gun, or if you would like more of a stainless or a brushed aluminum or steel, whatever the guns are made of um, you know whatever one you want oh let's see if I can pick him off so the synthetic parts is more about preference oh damn so it is very accurate uh, so definitely recommend you check the gun out um, give you an advantage picking off guys at range but still being able to fire significant around significant amount of bullets uh, in a short period of time. Still being able to do some pretty good damage. Alright guys, we got one more gun we're going to take a look at today. I'm very excited we're bringing that to you. We have to head to Gun Runners because this is one you need to purchase in order to use. And uh, so we'll see you there. Alright guys, here we are back at Gun Runners where we're going to take a look at our last mod of the day. This is the handgun I'm trying to do a handgun in every episode this is the Desert Eagle 7 this is a 44 caliber handgun I don't even understand why somebody would want a gun with that uh, with that caliber so let's see if he has it Desert Eagle Desert Eagle Desert Eagle version 7 44 this is apparently really nicely done um, nicely engraved and everything like that there's no attachments for this gun but if you look in the link in the description below at the website you will see that there are um, there are several um, different variations of the gun if you just want a plain one or whatever. This is the standard engraved one that is just the standard one it comes with. The other versions are available there. Um, so this is the gun, 8 round magazines, just like a standard handgun. Damage per second 122, total damage 46. Again, it uses 44 round magazines. Uh, I believe the new Desert Eagles are 50 caliber. That's how I came to know of the Desert Eagle. Um, Buddy and I had an infatuation with 50 caliber guns, and then we realized that there's a 50 caliber handgun, which is just insane. There's a famous viral YouTube video showing a chick trying to fire one of these things and <laughs> basically breaking her nose on the recoil. It's hilarious. Um, so let's let's just fire some rounds again. We're not going to be able to find anyone to shoot. It looks like. Oh, wait. Can I shoot you through the fence? Oh. Yes, I can. So do I have a way of going on a shooting spree? Um, let's just see how fast this thing fires. So it's very accurate. Are you dead? You are dead. Can we go in here? Just find a couple guys we can wipe out and... Uh, that will pretty much do it. I want to be able to bring you guys some some combat footage of the gun. I realized that, um, you know, looking back on my other videos, I am pretty good at showing you, I think I'm pretty good anyways, at showing you guys the guns and how they work and the different features and stuff like that. But pretty much just showing you guys wiping out innocent people in Good Spring. So I think I should probably start, um, you know, giving you guys some material to look at. Uh, let's see if I can find another NCR guy. I don't think that there's many around here though. Ugh, 
was hoping to do something catastrophic there. Okay, I don't think I'm going to find anyone, guys. That's okay. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the gun. Uh, reload speeds are very fast. Standard handgun in this game. So this is just the greenhouses. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I appreciate it if you left a like rating below. I know it. I ask for them a lot, but it really means a lot. The support, really, uh, seeing all the likes and, and ratings and you know comments lets me know that you guys enjoy what I bring to the table and you want to see more. Um, if you want, leave a, leave a dislike, rating, li rate, dislike rating, and I would love to know why you left that rating. Uh, I'm not going to hate you for it. I appreciate the uh, criticism as long as it's constructive. Um, maybe give me some tips, some suggestions, maybe some requests that you guys would like to see in the game, and I'd be more than happy to do my best to bring them to you. The channel is growing pretty fast. We're actually at about 830 subscribers, so probably at about 850, 900-ish. I'm going to start making some videos asking you guys for some questions, because when we got to 500 questions, uh, I did a questionnaire. So you guys could ask me some questions, but now we have almost double the amount of people, so hopefully some more questions can be um, can be asked. Uh, but now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to end the video here, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.